morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Bright City Church family. Thank you for joining us this morning. Lovely to have you with yeah, us. Yeah, it's great to have you with us. My name's Ian. This is Rachel. We're um, pastors at, at Bright <laughs> Who City <are> Church. <laughs> who, who are we again? Um, and lovely to see everyone. Hi, Ben and Jay and family. Hi, Louisa Wade. Hi, Tanya. Angie yeah, Davis, Angie Bristow. Our hi, Sharon. Church family. Hi, so glad to hi, have John, Don May, and Enoch. <laughs> Enoch, thank you. Do you know Enoch? Can you believe this? Enoch is doing work for us way over there across the across the, the seas. And uh, isn't that fantastic? Thank you, Enoch. Great job that you're doing. Hi, Canel and Joel. Yeah, good to have you, everybody. Hi. Here. Have I said hello to oh, Sharon? Oh, happy birthday, Sharon. Sharon. Oh, it must be, it's Joel's mum's birthday. Happy birthday, Sharon. Oh, happy birthday, Sharon. <laughs> and, and Sharon was with us, was it a couple of weeks yes, ago? Yes, she was, yeah. Was, well, wasn't it? A fantastic and, um, testimony. Just to say well done to Joel and Canel. We did last week's broadcast. Excellent job, superb. Great well, job. Weren't we blessed by those guys last week? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Charlene. Hi, Richard and Christiana. Good morning, Rachel, Dele, Hi, Nathaniel. Justin, Graham and Lorraine. Hi, Pastor Fanny and Mary. Pastor Rick Joyce. Rick and Ellie. Pastor Lakin and Yatunde. We are blessed. We are blessed. We and, feel so blessed. Yeah. And, um, you know, only six weeks to go, and yes. we're going to be... Um, we're going to be all together yes, in the are. building. Praise By the faith, Lord. we believe yes, that. We, we know are. that... Um, we know that you know the news has been talking about the Indian variant, etc. Well, we, we, we believe, we believe that, been... um, that you, you know we, we will be back in, <laughs> don't we? we will and be back um, in. so six weeks times, <laughs> not long six now. sevens of forty-two. Is that right? Yeah, uh, we're forty-two on days. And there's lots of work going upstairs, and the the the, the, the um, PA and media teams are all working really hard to yeah. upgrade our technical systems. So well done to all those guys that are upstairs working. Sort of round the clock almost. So they're probably thinking, all oh, time's ticking by. We <laughs> we haven't got much time. So pray for those guys that are, are, are doing all the technical upgrades. Yeah. <laughs> and only three and a half weeks till we're back in. Those of you who sign up for it for the Encounter Evenings. We've got two Fridays, the 11th and the 18th. And so that's yes. going to be wonderful. We're going to be coming. We're going to be praying. We're going to be worshipping yes, together. Are. But you do need to book your place. Yes. So uh, please, you know, email <laughs> the church, info at brightcitychurchuk.com and book your place. Book your I think place. we've got um, 60, 60 places we per, do. That's not on, bad, on the 11th actually. and the 18th. Yes. That's well, pretty good, isn't it? Storm. It's going to be amazing. It Just is, to come into his wonderful. presence and worship. Let me start with, a, shall I start with the scripture? Yeah, and let's pray. Because I know we've got a lot to fit the Lord. Today. We do, we do. So Lord, we just thank you for your thank presence, you, Lord. Lord. I just thank you for every single person that is connected mm. to us this morning. We thank you for family. We thank you mm. for bringing us together, Lord. And to, you know, you are our heavenly father. Yes, we Lord. love you. We praise you. It's all about you, King Jesus. And so we welcome you, Lord, mm. amongst us today. We celebrate you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We welcome your presence. Bless you, Lord. Bless we bless you, Lord. you. We exalt Hallelujah. you. We give you glory. You are worthy. Mm. No matter what we're going through, just no matter welcome what the Lord. kind of week welcome we've had, Lord, where you are. We just Hallelujah. give you glory, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Whenever we gather <laughs> together, he says, I'm there with you. And we, we he's here with us yes, right he now. Yes, he is with us. And uh, lovely to see everyone joining us. Hi, yes. Pastor David and Joyce. Hi, Jem Padmore. Lovely to have you with yeah, us. Yeah, good morning, Jeannie and Dave and Jean Watson. I was going to read a psalm, part Psalm 18. I love this psalm. It says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. For if we need some strength today, mm. we thank the Lord that he is our strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. There you go, a rock, a deliverer, and a fortress. That's just a little bit of the kind wow. of God that we Thank serve. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, my strength. Gosh, if we need strength this morning, it's coming straight from Him. In whom I will trust. Let's put our trust in Him today for everything. Yeah. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Hallelujah. Gosh, all those things. Thank you, Lord. A rock, Thank a you, fortress, Lord. a deliverer, a strength, a shield, a horn, a, sa a savior, a stronghold. This now, is your God. This is our. So this I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. 
Yeah, you know, I was um, as as the sort of you know leaders of your church. You know, we've got a a team of leaders, and it's interesting. We all got used to. We had to get used to quickly going, didn't we? Online in the lockdown, yeah. and we did. And you get into a rhythm and a routine by the grace of God. You know, of the broadcasting. <laughs> it's a certain approach, a certain, if you like, you know, uh, lifestyle for the church for a good while. Everything's locked down now. Everything's opening up, and you're thinking, Lord, you know, what now? You know, it's all change again. It's all change again. <laughs> and you, you know, I can even personally say, Ah, you We're know, holding on. To Lord, please help, you know, <laughs> help. And, um, and, but you know what God said to me as an encouragement, and, and he says it to you as well. He said, Ian, if I have blessed Bright City Church, can you see how I've blessed Bright City Church in this time when everything was locked down, when the people were locked in and, and when we couldn't gather together, when we couldn't really be out in the town with the people, if I can do this for you in that time, how much more? <laughs> Think what I can do yes. when everything opens yes. up, when you come together again, when you, you thrust forward into this new season. So be encouraged. That's yeah. what God said to me. Yes. As, and it encouraged me. Yeah. And I believe it. And it's so yeah, true. Absolutely. And it's the same for you. It's the so same for you. There's an upgrade coming. I have this word upgrade, coming up higher. And I think we're yeah. up for an upgrade. You're up for an upgrade. We're going higher. Praise God. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. On that whole um, theme of coming back together, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it's only 42 days away. <laughs> we're counting. And we're, we're, we're gathering, regathering the team and, and taking on the volunteers for particularly the Sundays, you know, for yeah. receiving the guests, welcoming all the new people and the visitors. We need you on the team. So um, thank you for those who have responded. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and, and a awesome. call out again for those of you who haven't yet responded. Let's come together, Bright City Church. Mm. Let's serve together. Yes. Let's go into this new yes. season together. So yes. please contact the team, yeah. contact the church on <laughs> info at brightcitychurchuk.com yeah. and say, I'm available. I'm, available. I'm willing. Where do you want and me to where serve? Do you want me to serve? And yeah, there's all sorts <laughs> there's of teams, all sorts, all sorts of things. things if done. you particularly have got a heart for a certain area of ministry, by all means, put that there. But um Thank you. Sign up to serve. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We're all signing up to we serve. We are. What and a privilege. <laughs> hi, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, we yes. are blessed wonderful. to have a wonderful visitor with us today. And many of you will know our friend Peter Barton from Adopt a Child. And without further ado, I'm going to bring Peter on to join us. Uh, hope he's, there, he's there with the tech. And... <laughs> with the tech. Yes, Yay! here's Peter. Hi, Peter. Welcome. Welcome Hi. to the broadcast. Welcome, Peter. Now, now, do put on the comments, those of you who recognise Peter, remember Peter, who's been to our church for, um, you know, um, quite a few times. Yes. When did you start coming, Peter? Lovely to have you here, by the way. Oh. What, what do you think? Was... Is it... Must be uh, six or seven years ago now, I think. Six or seven years. Wow. Wow. Wonderful, yeah. 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 And um, tell us a little bit, a very brief kind of you know overview of Adopt a Child and what it does for those who don't know about it. Oh, brief. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, what is Adopt a Child? Yeah. Okay, uh, in a nutshell, basically we're there to reach out uh, with the gospel to kids and families in Guatemala and Albania. Um, you've seen it in action out in uh, in Guatemala, so you know the way that we work. It's basically, it, we are there to feed the kids. Uh, we're there to give them medical dental aid, but most of all, to give them the opportunity to hear the gospel. And that's basically what we're about. That's amazing. And, and Rach and I can, uh, testify yes. that it is a fantastic Absolutely. ministry. We were so blessed by Peter took us out there yes. to Guatemala uh, to see the ministry. Awesome. We went out. I've got a couple of. I've got a <laughs> picture here that I'll put up. Of I the, hope it's a nice one. I hope it's going to be kind. <laughs> here you go. This is see if you can oh, see that. There There's uh, Rach and I with with the family of the uh, little boy that we've been sponsoring. There's Peter, who uh, goes out there regularly and uh, was was with us that time fantastic yeah, that's just awesome. back to us all together there <laughs> lovely pic set that's in guatemala yeah awesome and 
Wonderfully as well, there's about 20 or so, I believe, of the church, our church family, sponsoring children in Guatemala, isn't there, Peter? There are certainly is. Yeah. Which is, um, which is I so the, I actually, I actually looked up the figures. It's, uh, it's 19 people. Wow. Um, and um, I think we've currently got uh, 15 children supported by your church. Fantastic. That's amazing. Oh, that well, is amazing. Well done, Bright City Church. Well family. done, yeah. everyone you, who's sponsoring. Everyone that's and sponsoring a child. Yeah. Also, we've been out there personally. We've seen the difference that it makes. You, it it, is you can't even put it into ministry. words. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Changing lives, absolutely changing lives. Yeah. And, and we would encourage you, if yeah. you feel that you want to sponsor, this is a wonderful ministry. Yeah. The thing about it is, you know, it's, it's not it's expanding it's being blessed yes. by god in an incredible way it's not huge and and you know the money you give goes directly yeah. to the families and the, the work we've seen it with yes. our own eyes and uh, it's absolutely brilliant yeah tell us about how the ministry has coped peter i know you've sent the news video but uh, tell us in your own words you know how how it's impacted through with covid and the lockdown in both guatemala and albania uh, the government down all the programs um, so that we haven't been able to open the feeding programs for the kids uh, we haven't been able to open the Bible schools so what we did uh, in both Albania and Guatemala we've put we put together food parcels um, and basically distributed them to all the families um, now in Albania that's actually a little bit easier than it is in Guatemala because it's um, we're closer to the closer together yeah you know what it's like um it takes you uh, an hour and a half uh, by truck to get up to the programs yeah. and then people miles away from there but we've been going out every day with food parcels to bless the families and we have seen particularly in albania we have seen new programs opening because people are responding to what we're doing um the municipality of Pogradets approached us and said, you know, we know what you do. Can you do it in our town? So we started distributing food there. Um, and the church in Pogradets, which started just over 12 months ago, wow. um, with six people, it's now reached the stage where there's 120 people coming. We've had to move buildings because there's just not enough space. Um, and we're not talking here about people coming for a handout. We're talking about people who have responded to the love of God. Wow. They've seen they've seen Christ in action and they've just embraced him. Wow. And it's just it's just been awesome to watch what's been going on out there. You know, when it started, we thought, you know, are we going to be able to keep going? Mm -hmm. You know, is God going to provide? Silly and silly question that one was, but um, yeah, he <laughs> provided. And it, things have just carried on growing so. amazing it was a huge impression when we were out in guatemala that you know it's not just a social program it's not just a food program by any means but everywhere in these places where the food programs were churches were being planted yes, awesome. many people yep. were getting saved amazing spread of the kingdom yes. and um it's amazing what god has been able to do even in yeah. this pandemic and yeah. people are still getting saved the kingdom is still advancing it's awesome we just certainly you know, is can't, can't thank the lord enough can we <laughs> if if somebody wanted to get involved and sponsor i remember when you visit visited us physically regularly you would maybe bring you know certain cards of of children that needed sponsoring yeah. I know we can't do that on here but um if someone wanted to sponsor, how would they do it? And, and what would actually happen with their, with, with their gift and how would they be connected with these children in need? Well, uh, what people can do is go onto the website, which is livingwateradoptachild.org forward slash UK. Um, and there they'll find children who need sponsors, um, not only children, but also um, the grannies, the, the women in need, wow. you know, because yes. they're affected just as much as the kids. Um, and basically all you do is you choose a child and then it costs you £20 a month. And what involvement you have with the child or the granny is entirely up to you. 
but we always ask that people write because when you're up in the mountains and you visit a family and one of the kids comes out with a little tin box that's full of letters and photographs from their sponsor that's their treasure wow you know become part of their family they call us godmother or godfather Mm -hmm. Uh, you know it becomes that sort of relationship so if you do sponsor right get in touch get involved with them and um just be blessed wonderful wonderful. we were talking i know uh peter um, you know when we when we first hooked up again to to come on the show and, and what have you uh you know, possibly we might be able to yes. Bright City Church go out to um, Albania, yes, maybe on we, a mission trip. We would love this. And uh, you know, we're very excited yeah. about that. Albania is considerably closer than Guatemala. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you you were saying that I think your phrase was they'd bite our arm off to we go out there. We would love to. Go <laughs> Wouldn't we, Church? Who's up for going to Albania to minister out there? Yeah. What kind of things could you imagine uh, we might get up to if we did go out? To to support the work in Albania? Well, in Albania, we're starting to get uh, involved far more now in, um, in education um, because in the families, that there, there is, um, there is a, a state education system out there. Um, and it, considering what they have to work with, they cope, they cope pretty well. But a lot of the families can't afford their kids to go on to further education. So um, one of the things that we're involved with out there is um, uh, tertiary education. So we're all looking for projects that we can do out there, may well be um, building um, and that type of thing. uh, Or if people who are gifted teachers, then they're willing to spare a year or two, you know, whatever. (laughs) Right, not just a, not just a, a mission trip as a team, but a, a year or two. Can you hear? In can you hear that church? Who's can, up for a year or two build in Albania? Some schools, do um, some teaching. But I'm already getting. One thing you have to remember is you need to learn Albanian. Wow. Albanian, right? We okay. can do that. <laughs> have you learned any Albanian? That, that's not a test. By the way, but give us a phrase in Albanian, um, Peter. Mirmenjes. Uh, Mirmenges, Mirmenges. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Peter, oh, now you very kindly sent a news video of, um, you know, uh, some detail of what's happening in Guatemala and in Albania. And what I'm going to do, Peter, is actually post it on our mm. Facebook That's page, true, yeah. our church page, so okay. everyone can yeah. watch that. They can take the time, they can watch it again and again, yes, we'll get the do detail that. and respond to it as well. But, um, how can we pray for you, you know, in your ministry and for the ministry as a whole? We want to pray for you yes, now, yeah. and, but how can we continue support? Bright City Church is a partner mm. of Adopt a Child. Yeah. You know, we've, we've had some already said, oh, yes, I sponsor a little boy there. Yeah, that's that's um, Bill and Angela. Yes, and I, I know there's others I watching there's others a sponsor, watching, yeah. of course. So, yeah, how can we pray for you, Peter, and for the ministry? Well, for me uh, personally um health so i can carry on for as long as the lord uh, the lord wants me to in terms of the of the ministry the opening up of programs again um so that we can not only provide the food but the far more important thing provide the gospel um because we do use the opportunities of going into their homes whilst we deliver the parcels but as you'll appreciate, uh, out in uh, in Guatemala, we're talking about seven, eight thousand kids um, visiting each one of those with food parcels. It's a time consuming thing. So we haven't got the opportunity to preach the gospel to the families as much as we would like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we obviously we always want prayer for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what we're all about. You know, we all know what a blessing Jesus is. Uh, we know what he can do in people's lives, and we just want to bring them into the lives of these kids and their families. So mm. that that would be my prayer. Oh, thanks, Peter. 
Come on, church, Come on, let's church. pray let's for yeah. Peter and adopt a child. Yeah. You know, prayer changes mm-hmm. things, yeah. and God's going to hear yes. our prayers right now yeah. and as we continue to pray. Yes. Lord, we thank you for mm-hmm. Peter. We thank you for Adopt a Child, yes, this amazing ministry. Yes, we thank Lord. you for the work, the good work you're mm. doing in Guatemala yes, and Lord. Albania. Yes, and Lord, we thank you that even during the lockdown, there has been a tremendous yes, con- continuation and even an expansion yeah. of the kingdom and the gospel. Yes. And Father, we pray right now, Lord, for more, yes, more Lord. of your yes, power, Lord. more yes, of your Lord. enabling, thank more you, of Jesus. your resources, thank more you, of your sponsors, yes. more of your encouragement Mm. to all the workers, Father. And as things open up now, we pray, Lord, you'd strengthen all of the team and help them, Lord, to re-engage with all the families. We hear of all of those uh, thousands, Lord, Mm. in Guatemala. Lord, reconnect them to your love, your gospel, your people and your provision. Father, we pray for Peter. We right now release your anointing on him, your supernatural enabling, Mm -hmm. your renewing of his youth yeah. lord as you thank you that's what yeah. you do lord lord fill him afresh with your holy spirit yes. renew his yeah. youth yes. supernatural strength you, anointing for yes. the, this new season mm-hmm. with everything opening up lord we thank you we're going to see peter here yeah. physically lord i believe we're going to be joining him again yes, that's on right. mission Amen. and uh, lord thank you for the divine connection and lord do with it something wonderful yeah. and above and beyond what we could even imagine. Amen. Oh, oh, Amen. <laughs> thank you, Peter. Peter, it's thanks been... so much. I'm going to put the video up on our church yes. page. Everyone will be able to watch it yes, and uh, respond to it as well. Yeah. So thank you for joining thank us, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Um, Looking great as we've always. Had some, yeah, we've had some great comments yes. on the waistcoat again. <laughs> yeah, they recognize we remember the, waistcoat. the wonderful waistcoats. <laughs> Now, I think that's a Guatemalan one, if I'm not mistaken. Look at- it certainly is. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you Bless so much, you, Peter. Bless you. See you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. 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 Great. Right, we're going to worship now, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go into um, worship what- and respond yeah. to our good, good father. Yeah. So let's, let's praise God Thank together. You, Thank you, Lord.
Beautiful song, beautiful song. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Mm. We thank you for being our Father, thank a you, good, good Father. That's you, who Lord. you are. Mm. You are so good. You are love. And as we go deeper, 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 mm. and as we draw closer, closer to you, Heavenly Father, we know that we thank are loved, you, that you love mm. us so, so much, so beautifully, so mm. securely, so wonderfully, so lavishly. Mm. And Lord, we just want to give you praise for the love that you give to us. Thank you, And um, let me encourage you to mm. draw closer to the Father, to experience mm. his love. Come close to him today. Mm. Draw near to him today Thank and you, experience that beautiful, you, wonderful, everlasting love mm. of the Father. Because mm. he is so yes, good. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So yes, good. Lord. Let everyone you, Lord. who's connected mm. right now to the broadcast, or maybe you're watching right now mm. a recording of this. Maybe you're watching on YouTube. Father, would you draw them with your love? Yes. Would you now release the love yes. of the Father yes. to those who maybe have not had a father, mm. to those who have felt 
their father's absence, yeah. to those who have felt an absence of love. Mm. Father, right now, yes. minister to yes, them. Lord. Feel yes. that love. Experience yes. that love deep yeah. in your spirit. Yeah. God is revealing yeah. himself to you. Yes. Amen. 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 Bless you. Thank you, Jay. Mm. Lovely to uh, have that worship song. Thank you for leading us. We're so looking forward to the team, you know, and 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 worshiping together. We're yeah. a worshiping community, yes. you know, and, and worship is at the heart of everything we do going forward. And uh, we're really excited yes. by that. I'm also excited to to bring a word to you today. I believe it's a very important word that God is speaking to myself and to the church through um, the particular portion of the scriptures. It's the story of Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah. And um, I believe, you know, that actually we'll be looking at this for at least a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks. I, I believe God is speaking through it um, very sort of significantly and guiding us and helping us and strengthening mm -hmm. us through this passage of scripture. So I want to encourage you to, you know, get that, um, maybe get the scriptures out, get the book out, follow it through. I would want to encourage you to read that um, story in the book of Nehemiah, you know, in your quiet time, as mm -hmm. you seek the Lord, as you seek the Lord and pray for the church, as you seek the Lord and pray for yourself. I know, I believe God will speak to you through Nehemiah, speak to us as Bright City through this, um, this story. Now, you know, it's a, it's a real happening, of course. It's not a story per se, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's something that really happened in history. It happened in the history of God's people mm. and it was recorded in the word of God. And we read in, in the New Testament, in 1 Corinthians 10, 11, it says that those recorded stories of the dealings with the word of God were particularly put there for our example, uh, for examples to yeah. us, to yeah. speak to us, yes. to speak to us today, yeah. to speak to the saints. Yeah. They have great meaning. They, yes, they God do. uses these stories and yes. these words. And he said, look, I've, I've, I've recorded it for you. I want you to, to look at it, to read into it. Let me speak to you through it. And God speaks. We know his word is living and active. It's God breathed. Mm. And when his word goes out, yes. it never returns without Amen. accomplishing <laughs> everything that God intends Absolutely. for his word. So this word <laughs> yep. and his word and the word he's given for Bright City is important. It, it is. really it's is. Powerful. And, and it's powerful. And it's wonderful. And it speaks on many levels. It will speak to you in your individual life. Yes. It will speak to us as a church. Yes. It will speak, you know, as Bright City Church. It will speak to the town of the churches together, the yes. saints coming together. It speaks to the national church, the global church. You know, this is how the word of God on many levels, yes. it might speak to you if you've just become a Christian yep. and it speaks <laughs> into your walk, the yep. walk of faith in your life, or you may have been a Christian for many years. It speaks. And yep. so we are receiving from God. Yep. It's about God dealing with his people. And in the same way he deals, God is the same yesterday, today and forever. And um, what I want to encourage you, why I feel this is really speaking, I know it's speaking into our particular situation. Now, God was dealing with Israel and because of, um, you know, human nature, sin nature, rebellion and all the rest of it, which is in man and was in his people as well. And they rebelled, you know, from his love and his ways and so he brought discipline and, and, and there were levels and stages of discipline, which actually led to the exile of the people of God from, is, from Israel and Jerusalem. And, you know, because they kept rebelling and he kept saying, come on, turn back to me, turn back to me, come back to my ways and my word. But they refused. You know, he, he ramped it up till eventually the enemies came in, the Babylonians came in and they took them away. Mm. And Jerusalem was left in ruins. The walls were broken down. The, the gates were burned. The temple was destroyed. But God was in charge. Yes. God was in charge of it all. Yes. He prophesied that it would happen. Yes. And he prophesied that it would happen just for a certain period yes. in his compassion. For 70 years, 
they will experience this. It's like a generation, yes. isn't it? For a certain season, and then I will bring them back. I will mm. restore them. Mm. I love them, mm. but this is the discipline. And we might apply this, we can apply this to our individual experiences. We can apply, apply it to the experience of us as a church. We can apply it to the lockdown even. I want to say that, you know, God is sovereign. He's yes. overall, he's working yeah. in the yes. church, doing something. Yes. We know from the scriptures, he's yes. working all things yes. for his glory yes. and our good. Yes. And so even in the church when, hang on a minute, we can't meet. We're all, you know, it's almost like the churches were stopped for a season. We know it, but, and yet God's doing something. Is. God is working something yes. and he knew about it. And so... I want to look at this story and I want to, you know, God, I believe, is speaking. And as we go through it, mm. he will reveal things to us, encourage us, help us as we even come out of the lockdown. There's, if you like, a rebuilding going to take place. Mm. You know, he, he called Nehemiah, and we'll see how he did that, to rebuild what mm. was broken, to rebuild what had been destroyed almost or stopped you know, the, 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 the glory of God, the place of God, the temple of God, the city of God. Hey, we're Bright City Church and we're coming out and God's speaking to us. He wants to rebuild and, and do something new and do something wonderful, restore, renew. And the glory of the latter house, in a sense, you know, we're all going from glory to glory to glory. That's not a comment on what was before, but God is always taking us from glory to glory, ultimately to the great, wonderful glory of eternity. So this, you know where I'm going. It's going to take a little while. God's going to speak to us. And so I believe we should take our time. Nehemiah. So Nehemiah was, he was obviously taken away. He was kind of in serving the royal family. He was cup bearer to the Babylonian king, Artaxerxes. He was right there serving, had a very good job. In fact, uh, through those decades and 70 odd years, the Jews in the Babylonian territories, they were kind of, you know, they weren't being um, sort of really savagely treated or anything like that, persecuted. They were allowed to, to prosper. Yes. They were allowed to have businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, not in their own land, but they were, they were there. They were, they were doing well. And here even we've got um, Nehemiah. He's got a great job, you know, a job to be envied. <laughs> He's serving the king tasting his wine. He was a cup bearer and he would, you know, check the wine before the king had it. So it was very close, up close and personal to the king, just in case it was poisoned. Mm. You know, so it was a, you know, a bit of a dodgy <laughs> job, you know, if anyone, if it's there were any poison. kind of um, conspiracies against <laughs> the king, you know, <laughs> Nehemiah would get it first. So, uh, and, um, or if the wine was bad, maybe. So, so Nehemiah's doing that that job. And then a report comes from Jerusalem, from some, some Jews. And, and let's, I'll just pick that up. It said, uh, a Jewish remnant came. No, so some men came and they said this about, the, about Jerusalem. Those who survived the exile are back in the pro who are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. The walls of Jerusalem are broken down. Its gates have been burned with fire. So this was the report that came to Nehemiah. It says that Nehemiah wept when he heard it and he fasted and prayed. And we see, you, you can read it for yourself, there's a long prayer there where he prays out to God. He takes days fasting and prayer and he calls out and, and he says, Lord, you know, he takes ownership as well of the, uh, and takes responsibility. He didn't say, you know, those people have rebelled against you and that's why it's happened to them. He said, no, no Lord, I confess the sins that we Israelites, including myself and my father's house, have committed against you. And he called out, Lord, you know, I confess, but remember us, remember us, help us, mm -hmm. Lord. You know, let be attentive to my prayer. You who delight, you who are compassionate and, and to those who delight in revering, you know, give your servant success. Then he, so he prayed, he was praying, he'd been fasting. But also that he said, give success to me today. Immediately it was prayer and I'm available. I want to help. I want to respond. I'm going to step up. 
I'm going to I'm going to make a difference. I've heard the need and now I'm going to step up. Now, don't forget, he had a wonderful job. He was he was cupbearer to the king. He was working with the royalty. He would have had everything he needs. He, he you know, there were many people and yet he said he was prepared to go out of his comfort zone. Mm. He was prepared to risk, mm. you know, the wrath of the king when he was going to go up and he was going to actually explain to the king the problem and you know and, and ask for help in a sense mm. but he knew that that was very dangerous mm. you don't come to the king mm. uninvited you mm. don't you know you don't share your miseries with mm. the king of Babylon you know you you do as you're told you do your job mm. and and he was afraid of what might happen mm. if he shared this with the king and yet he said no I'm going to step up I'm mm. going to Lord he was praying mm. and obviously he felt the Lord prompted him mm. right come on Yes, you're praying, but you're part of the answer. When we pray, we've got to be part of the answer as well. Mm. We've got to avail ourselves and say, Lord, mm. you know, would you help? When, when we pray for a person who's in need, mm. you know, and, and Jesus showed us this. He don't say, Lord, help that poor, per, poor person, you know, with clothing and food. Uh, send someone to help them, but you walk <laughs> off. But God says, well, what can you give? What can you do? Mm. What can you contribute? And as we bring our our contribution mm. god blesses it and does something wonderful like the boy with the fishes and loaves mm. he's you know who who here has got food i've got this for the 5000 but god blesses that yes. so so when we pray and when we're saying lord how can i rebuild the house how can i rebuild bright mm. city church lord here i am here mm. i am i'm available i'm stepping out of my comfort zone mm. i'm 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 you know i'm comfortable here i've got a nice job i'm doing this i'm doing that and many of us you know, many people, we can become comfortable in the world, comfortable working mm. uh, in the world. And, and before we know it, we're just we're realizing we're spending all of our energy and life in in some things other than the kingdom. Mm. So be encouraged. Anyway, here's Nehemiah. He says, here I am. Now hear my prayer as I come into the presence straight away. The prayer says, as I come into the presence of the king, be with me. And so he goes up to the king and the king picked up that something wasn't right. And, and he said, you know, why are you downcast? What's the problem, Nehemiah? And, and Nehemiah was afraid and he, and he said, I prayed to the God of heaven right there. So he's got, he's a praying man. Yes. His, everything is brought yes. to the Lord. Even there, the, the king, Artaxerxes says, what's the problem with you? And he prayed, mm -hmm. even as he was about to answer. Lord, help me now. Help me now. Give me the words. Give me favor. And, and he answered. He says, if it pleases the king. And he tells him about the situation. And this is it. Now he'd been fasting and praying. And he, he not only said, look, look, I, I, I'm, I'm downcast about my people. But he was bold. He was going to ask the king for help to rebuild his city, rebuild Jerusalem, rebuild the walls. And actually, you know, boldly, can you believe he's saying, King, will you help? Will you help me with, I want to start rebuilding. I want to be part of the solution. I'm cupbearer here to you. Mm. But here, a thousand miles away, 900 miles away, and four months travel, I want to go there. He not only says, will you let me go? He says, Will you give me resources, O king? Mm -hmm. Will you give me authority and letters? Will you give me... And, 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 and he gets it in his boldness. Mm -hmm. You know, God says, ask of yeah. me. Yeah. Ask yeah. And, and, and ask and see what I will do. Will you pray bold prayers? Yeah. Will you believe God? Yeah. Will you ask him and see what yeah. he wants to do through yeah. you? Yeah. Even in the new season, these new things, yeah. as you step out of your comfort, comfort zone. zone. <laughs> you know, there he was. He was he had everything he need, but he said, no, I'm going to believe for the new season, the new things. I'm going to ask you, God, and you're going to, you know, I believe in you. And, and it was a risk. Mm. You know, sometimes faith is spelt R-I-S-K mm. you know there is a stepping out yes. but God loves that yes. he loves faith yes. without faith it's impossible in fact to move with God to yes. work with God to please God yes. and so this is wonderful God backs him up he gives him favor and the king says yes yes I will 
I will let you go. I will send you my soldiers and my men. Mm. I will give you the materials mm. that you need. Yes. You know, from the world will give us the materials, the, 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 the funding we need going forward. We will have the favor of mm. the world as we believe yeah. God, as we step out, as mm. we go forward. So will you, so will I, so will Bright City, so will the churches in this town. Mm. Let's believe God and ask, pray bold prayers, make ourselves available, step out of our comfort zone and see what God's going to do. So he had the success. Wow, can you imagine how he felt? You know, and he got a team together and they set off for Jerusalem. Yes, Lord. Can you imagine how he felt? He had the, the favor of the king, the king of the superpower of the day, the resources, the, um, the, the cavalry going with him. Can you imagine how he felt? Listen, what happened immediately after he had that success and things happened? This is what it says immediately after that. Immediately. It's, it says that, um, I've got to find it now. It's in uh, chapter 2, verse 10. Let me find it. Chapter 2, verse 10. Right, here we go. So he's got the success. It says, when Sanballat the Horonite and Tobiah the Ammonite official heard about this, heard about the mission, heard about this, they were very much disturbed mm. that someone had come to promote the welfare of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a disturbing, there was a great shaking. Mm. They were very much disturbed. Can you hear that? You know, when you start moving out, when you start stepping mm. out for the kingdom, when yeah. Bright City Church steps out, when we stepped up, there's a great disturbing yeah. In, there's a disturbing in the spiritual realm. Mm. There's a disturbing that happens. And if yeah. there's no disturbing, by the way, in our lives and no shaking, then, you know, we've got to ask, are we actually doing anything for the kingdom? There will be a disturbing. Mm. And the greater the, the work, the greater the push, the greater mm. the disturbance. I'm afraid that's how it works. If you want to advance the yes. kingdom of God into the kingdom of darkness, yeah. boom, you're going to come up against you know, you're going to come up against the forces of darkness. Mm. They're going to be disturbed. Going to be but unhappy. God is with you. God <laughs> is in charge. God is over all. Yes. He's the king of everyone. It mm. says submit to God mm. and resist the devil and he will flee from you. He must flee mm. from you. So in Christ, we have everything we need. But there was a great disturbance. So we hear that uh, they were very disturbed. Uh, that, that, you know, someone's promoting anything that's going to promote the welfare of the people of God is going to shake up mm. the, um, the, the enemies of God's people, the enemies of God, the spiritual forces of darkness. By the way, of course, we know this will manifest. It's not only just in the spirit, but this is why we need to be praying. It will, mani it will manifest in people's lives as well around us. Now, don't take it personally. You know, our, our battle is not against mm. flesh and blood but against principalities and powers in the yes. heavenly realms. When you yes. move out for the kingdom of God, mm. in the kingdom of God, mm. you know, you, you're going to ruffle feathers and, and it will manifest even in those, we shall see mm. in those even close to us, those around us, mm. because there's a disturbing. Mm. And sometimes people don't understand why and what's going on. Mm. But, but, you know, they're disturbed in themselves and it's spiritual. So don't take it personally, but we pray. And Nehemiah showed every time he prayed, he prayed, he prayed. So they were very, very disturbed, it says. We hear the disturbing. It happened immediately. Anyway, then we pick up again with Nehemiah. It says that he went to Jerusalem and after staying there a few days, he started to do an assessment. He went around the city. He went around all the gates. He went around at night. He went around quietly. He went around, you know, quietly on his horse. He was the only one on his horse, it says. You know, the rest of his little group, you know, they, they were inconspicuous. They were unseen. He was doing a careful assessment of all that needed to be done all of the damage he was counting the cost mm. of what yeah. needed to be done so he was a man of great faith yeah. a man of prayer yeah. but a very practical man yeah. and a careful man and a man who looked yeah. and counted the cost 
and made a plan mm. and was working with God. Now, the two things go together. They're not, you know, we don't want to be yes. super spiritual that we're no earthly good. Mm. We've got to bring the two together. Sometimes we can separate the spiritual life <laughs> from the life here on earth. And of course, that's not how it should be done. All life is spiritual. All life mm. and all aspects of our life are in God and in him. Yes. So, yeah, he's taking up that um, careful assessment mm. and considering the cost. Mm. I'm going to pay the price. He was wise about it. Mm. And so after assessing everything, by the way, there's so much in this. Um, and I want to encourage you to really read this story mm. and pray and ask God to speak to you. You know, he went round the city in a certain order, went through all of the gates. Mm. You know, every word in this word of God that he put there, you know, has has a meaning yes. and is there's no accident. Yes. God doesn't throw away his words. Yeah. God doesn't, you know, speak um, unnecessary words. Yes. You know, those words, if you look at the, the gates and the order of mm. the gates that he went around, God will speak to you through those gates even. You know, they're, they're, they're there for a reason. Let's have it. I'm not going to go through the gates this in this particular one. But um, for instance, you know, there was the sheep gate as the first gate. I'll just give you an example. But you can look at the gates. Mm. Um, the sheep gate, uh, where the lambs were brought in, that was the very first gate. And, you know, we enter the kingdom <laughs> through faith in the lamb, the yeah. lamb of God, yes. who takes away the sin of the world. Mm. You know, the first gate we go through mm. is the gate of the lamb. Mm. The gate of the lambs, the lamb of God, who took away, takes away our sin and we're, we're cleansed, we're born yes. again, we're perfect in yes. his sight and we begin. And as you go around the gates, you can see a certain spiritual journey is revealed. And uh, we, we're not going to go through that this time, but maybe an, another time we kind of have a look at it. Mm. So, but we're going through the gates and um, having a look at all the different places. And once he's gone through and made that assessment, anyway... He calls everybody together. He brings everyone together to join in the team effort. Mm. This was going to be a team effort. This yes. wasn't a one-man job. This wasn't a lone ranger. This mm -hmm. was a come on. You know, Nehemiah always used the expression we. We. Not um, not I'm going to do this. Not this is my thing. Not this is, but but we. We must do this. Mm. Let, let us come together. Uh, calling everyone now yes. he, he said he, he said to them come on everyone you see all the trouble mm. we are in this is chapter 2 verse 14 you see the trouble we are in Jerusalem lies in ruins its gates have been burned with fire he says come 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 on folks let us mm. rebuild yes let us rebuild yes. come on what a great calling. Let us mm. rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Let us rebuild the city. Mm. Come, can you hear God? Come, let us rebuild Bright City as well. Mm. Let us rebuild. Let us build the kingdom of God. Kingdom let us God. build the new mm. season, the new thing that God is doing. Mm. I know we've been hearing about this new thing, and but I'm saying, you know, this is a new season. Mm -hmm. It's new. Let us come together. Mm. Nobody can do this alone. Yes. The Christian life even cannot be lived alone. Right. It's to be lived together. Yes. Jesus' prayer, his heartfelt prayer before mm. he went to the cross, he prayed and prayed again and again. Before he went to the cross, he could have prayed for anything. But he said, Father, make them one. Yes. Make them one. Unify them. Make yes. them one as we are one. Yes. That the kingdom can be built. Mm. That everyone will see that you are the living God. Mm. So we come together. We must be together. Yes. Let's join together. Yes. How do you come together as one? Well, you have to put down your preferences. You have to say, you know, mm, okay, I'm going to be one. I'm going to, you know, let's sub mutually submit to one another. Mm. You know, I think... <laughs> silly things, I think. You know, what are we going to have to eat? I want steak and kidney pie. <laughs> You want lasagna. Well, we can't have them both, but, but you know, I might say, I'm not saying I do. Okay, darling, let's you have lasagna. Really, yeah. Let's have this <laughs> as an example. Of course, it's compromise. Oh, I'd rather have a steak and kidney pie. But Rachel wants lasagna. 
okay, let's have lasagna. And I end up enjoying the lasagna. Yeah. And, and, and that's just a silly example. <laughs> but, you know, when we come together, we're, we're laying down our preferences, yes. aren't we? We're submitting one to another for the yes. greater good, yes. for the call of God. Yes. And God blesses it. He yes. says, I, I command the blessing on this. So Nehemiah is calling everyone together. Let us rebuild mm. the, so that we will no longer be in disgrace. You know, God wants his kingdom, his people, his his living stones to be glorious, yes. to be influential, mm. to be a place of his presence and glory. That is our call. That is what it should be. Not, um, not dead, not trodden down, not broken down, but living, influential, mm. winning, and, and, and bringing love to the city. So, um, and he said, so, so he says, you know, come on, let's rebuild. Let's do this together. So we no longer be in disgrace. And then he said, I told them about the gracious hand of my God on me, on the work, and what the king had said to me. And, you know, so he was encouraging them. Look, God is with us. Yes. God is helping us. Can you see the blessing of God already? You know, if he's blessed us so far, imagine what he's going to do going forward. Yeah. I say the same to Bright City. Mm -hmm. Look at the way God has blessed us mm -hmm. even in, the, I said it at the start, didn't I? Even in the lockdown, when we're shut up, we can't do this, we can't do that. And yet God has blessed us. We've had favor from the authorities, favor with the council, funding and help. Look, can you see? See what the king has said. See the gracious hand of God on Bright City Church. Dear friends, that's part one because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, as you can tell, I'm, I'm excited about this word for Bright City, for the church. I encourage you, dear friends, would you read, you know, this Nehemiah? Ask God to speak to you through it. He's going to speak to you um, about your walk with him. Yes. He's going to speak to you about Bright City mm. Church. He's going to speak to you about the new season. Mm. He's going to encourage you and help you. He's going to knock the devil off your back yes. as you as you meditate yes. on it and let the word come into you. Mm. Thank you so much yes, for yes. joining together. And uh, we're, we're going to go on to part two and, um, and let God guide us and lead us and help us. You know, do you remember... Nehemiah means comfort. He's comforting us, helping us. You know, Ezra, who was also one of the leaders that, that was involved, the spiritual leader in the coming back at this same time. Ezra means help. Mm. Nehemiah means comfort. Mm. God is helping us. He's mm. comforting us. Mm. He's leading us, anointing us into all that he has for us. Yes. This is the way. Walk ye in it, bright city. So God bless you. Mm. And um, darling, I'm going to let you pray and finish yes, off. Yes, awesome. I love that. Thank you, darling. It's a wonderful message. And I'm looking forward to the second part of it as well. And, mm. uh, you know, and this is not just a word. It's an individual. It's We can apply it into our own lives as God just, you know, rebuilds us. That's what he does. Okay. He's a redeemer. He is restorer. That's his heart. Whatever the enemy might to tear down whatever the enemy might have destroyed, whatever has been taken away, you know, God is able to rebuild, rebuild mm -hmm. even in our own lives. But I'm so excited about what God is going to do as we partner with him mm -hmm. and continue to advance the kingdom of God together, mm -hmm. you know, all together as one family, as one bride, I believe. You know, this just goes much bigger than just Amen. an individual, bright city, the town. This is about you know, the bride of God getting ready Amen. and us rebuilding. So, Heavenly Father, we thank just you, uh, commit this mm. word to you. Heavenly mm. Father, I thank you for divine connections in our lives, divine appointments, just and favor. You thank know, you, Nehemiah Lord. had that favor. Oh, and Lord, as we seek you, Father God, and as we pray and as we fast you, and as we desire yes. to see your kingdom yes, come Lord. here mm. on oh, earth, Father God, as we begin to rebuild, Father God, mm. Lord, we thank you for your blessing, for your favor. I pray for every Thank person Lord. out there. Lord, Amen. I pray for the calling on every person out Amen. there, for their part that they will play mm. in the rebuilding. Lord, I 
Lord, thank you for the giftings, for the callings, for the mm, uniqueness, amen. Lord, of every yeah. single person. Lord, mm. unite our hearts together, Lord, for your kingdom, Father, for your glory, mm. Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, I just come against any of those disturbances mm. that the enemy may come and bring into your, into your life. We come against those disturbances right now in Jesus' name. Mm. And we command every negativity, every stronghold to be broken. Mm. We take every negative thought captive and we say be silenced in the name of Jesus. Lord, let us hear your word. Mm. Let us hear your voice. Let us hear your instruction. Yes. Let us hear Amen. from you yeah. as we go forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm. Thanks again for joining yes. us, everyone. Thank you for your encouraging <laughs> comments. And uh, we're on again tonight. Um, I'll be on with Pastor Akin for Word Up as we continue through the Gospel of Mark. And um, we'll be in the morning gathering together with Ben and Jay and we'll be worshipping and worshiping praying again. and start the week worshiping morning prayer. Worshipping and praying for the rebuilding yeah. of the wall. So bless you all. Have a bless great you. rest, Thank rest you of the Sunday. Thank you for joining us and have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. You call.